Okay, okay. So today is the day that we go ahead and finish this thing. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle. I recently graduated from college. I am kind of going through my post-grad job search experience. I'm an artist and I'm also navigating my 20s. So if any of that pertains to you or if it even, even if it doesn't pertain to you and you just want to stick around and hang out with me, I would encourage you to do so. You can hit the subscribe button to see more of my videos. But basically today I'm going to throw it back to really the final months of my college experience because it was certainly a lot. There was a lot going on for me mentally. There was a lot that I had to do physically in terms of showing up to and other obligations that I was dealing with. And I'm also dealing with trying to make sure that I finish up all my courses on the right foot and just graduating, organizing things for graduation as well. There was a lot going on. And of course, like I mentioned, I was still taking courses, one of them being an oil painting course. I actually was introduced to oil painting in college. When I studied abroad, I took an oil painting class. I was nervous for it, but I really fell in love with the medium, and so I decided to take another one. I was making a lot of paintings, much like this one here. This is actually one that I worked on my last semester, but I thought it would be neat to kind of revisit a lot of these art pieces that I essentially had to sort of rush through because of how much was going on that last semester. The paintings got done because I had to have something done, but there was little things I wanted to add, little things I wanted to complete, so rather than going on top of this already dry painting, I thought, why not grab my baby easel, we stand, and grab a little canvas as well and repaint these paintings how I actually envision them. Let's go. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some supplies. Okay, so now that I've got a bunch of supplies laid out here for me to go ahead and get started, I wish I could talk more about my thoughts and my motives behind this painting. I genuinely don't remember exactly what the prompt was for th these series of projects that I'm getting ready to show you guys. And also, my professor, my oil painting professor, was amazing and so knowledgeable, but he also allowed us to kind of be free with what we were painting and kind of like pick our own inspiration behind things and it wasn't always a very strict prompt situation. It was probably a very basic prompt that wouldn't give a whole ton of insight into this anyway. What I do know for sure is that I wanted more from this painting so I'm going to go ahead and I then going to take some of this sand color oil paint that I have here and go ahead and start with a brief outline of the work here on my smaller canvas. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, give it up. Anywhere you say, anywhere you say, So I've got an underpainting going, and so it's a brief outline. I've changed some aspects of the painting. It's a brief outline. Before I go in with the actual colors and paint, I really wanted to make sure I had a game plan as to how I wanted things to look. I don't exactly have a game plan for the colors. I might keep them pretty similar to what I already have up there. But I'm excited. This is the fun part it's where it gets really going and just have fun with it. Painting is supposed to be fun and very expressive and something that you figure out as you go. If that's not your thing, that's okay. But I think for the most part, you're just supposed to have fun with it. So 
This is not college final season. I have time to really work on this and have the fun that I'm supposed to have with it. So let's go. some of the building here coming together but I think that I'm going to take out the people in this picture because I feel like the real beauty in this picture and the real thing that I focused on when I started the painting at least was really the scenery the backdrop and just the cityscape in general and the people feel kind of random in it so I am going to forfeit them in this second section I like what I have going on but I also feel like the bricks are a little bit big in terms of like the scale of them on the building so that's the main thing kind of bothering me right now but I think that I can make it work. <laughs> the bricks now are really like the bricks that I have now they're a lot smaller and they just look better on the building and they make more sense logically sometimes it just this is what painting looks like for me sometimes I just have to completely erase a section I just spent an hour on and and try again so it's this exact kind of time that I felt like I didn't necessarily have to squander when I was working on this guy right here. So.
days later and I feel like this is just realistic for me when it comes to painting. That's just kind of the way it is with me and creating artwork and that um, I have to really feel a zeal for finishing something in order to really get there. Either a zeal or I'm facing a deadline so I have to put something on the paper, I have to put something on the canvas so I end up with works like this. Honestly, this is an experiment for me as well because I'm able to see if allowing myself that extra time to really think and work on things when I want to, if allowing myself that time, since I have that time right now, if it actually leads to a better end product or if I'm overthinking things. So this is a journey for all of us. We're in this together. This painting has been drying for a moment now, which is good because we wanted a nice dry canvas to work on. Okay, so let's go ahead and get restarted on this painting. Let's go. <laughs> horizon situation it's definitely crooked so I'll have to fix that nothing a little paint can't fix nothing a little paint cannot fix start to simply just regret everything, every choice you made with your painting, the fact that you even decided to repaint this particular painting, like everything is just like, why right now? But it's fine, we're gonna finish it, we're gonna power through and finish this.
feel like it looks pretty cool so far. I definitely need to bring some more sunshine here. This building needs to dry on a lot of the parts, so I can't really add anything to it at this moment. I need to figure out what's going on in the background here. Add some more details, but for some reason, like, this section is bothering me, and I just want to see some color of some sort, so... Yeah, but I'm not mad at this. I slowly my eyes are like getting used to what I'm seeing. Sometimes it just takes like stepping back, letting these exist next to each other as two different paintings and taking them in. I had added a door situation on this section here and it's like I didn't like that and if I was rushing or trying to finish it a wet painting to turn in like the next day or next two days I probably would have left it and like knowing that that was something that was bothering me it was going to continue to bother me and so I had the chance to erase that and I can go back and add something that I like and I like this I, I actually really do like this and it's not it's not yet done but it's definitely getting there so let's continue do I think that I'm going to get there tonight probably not just because, like I mentioned before, there's areas that need to dry, so... finally sit compare the two and yeah honestly just let them exist as these two different paintings that look very similar to each other but were done in very different circumstances so if you recall this is the original here the original gangsta the OG I honestly do think that both of these pieces have their own charm, have their own spark. There's things that I still really enjoy about the original and there's also things that I like that I made the change of in the new one. So I honestly don't think that this is any better than the original. If I'm being completely honest, I think I need more time to get it to a place where I could say that it was better, so to speak, but I like both of them individually, so there's that. But yeah thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for joining me in this video today i really enjoyed making it so if you enjoyed go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see more content from me like i said i am an artist i just graduated from college there's a lot of things going on here so if you want to join in hit subscribe if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up to not only tell me that you enjoyed it but tell me that you think that i should probably keep working on this painting and also maybe do the same kind of video with one of my other old paintings as well because there is a number of them it was a series there was there was many 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 rushed final paintings so if you guys want to see more give it a thumbs up but other than that i will see you guys in the next one thank you for watching bye